Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are talking Canon's cinema roadmap to the end of 2020 and on into 2021. So at the moment that I'm recording this, Canon has uh, quite a few cameras in the cinema lineup and a couple cameras that are coming in. Uh, but what we'd like to talk about today is what's what hasn't been announced and what you know, different rumors are of and what the logical progression of Canon's lineup is gonna be. So right now uh, at the low end, we have the C200, this camera. Then coming in, uh, already announced and launched in December, we have the C70 at $5,000. Then you have the C300 Mark III at 11,000, the C500 Mark II at 16,000. Then you go up into the uh, C700 and C700 full frame uh, that are in the 20,000s, uh, but we'll, you know, not too many people are shooting on them, not too many people are buying them, and all of the interesting stuff is happening in that uh, sub $10,000 range. So the C70, if it sells well and is successful, the rumor is that Canon has two more bodies, uh, well, two more models that are using the same body with different sensors. There'll be a C50, which will be a $4,000 camera or $3,500 camera with the sensor of the current C200. And it will shoot, probably not raw, well, definitely not raw, but it'll shoot maybe a 422, maybe a 420, uh, but it won't have DGO and it will be Super 35. Then you have the C70, which is the C300 Mark III's DGO Super 35 sensor with the option to go full frame um, with a EF or PL to R converter. Another camera that's been rumored and makes a lot of sense is a $7,000 C90 with either the C500 Mark II's uh, 6K, uh, full frame sensor or a Super, 30, Super 35 mil sensor that is 8K. So a more dense, a doubly dense version of the um, C70's C300 Mark III sensor. So there'll be uh, three um, compact cinema cameras, the C50, C70, and C90, and there'll be three digital, full-size digital cinema cameras, well, four full-size digital cinema cameras, the C200, the C, 300, the C500, and the C700. The big question is, will the uh, C200 Mark II come out? And if so, what will what improvements will they make? And if so, uh, what will the price be? Well, I'd like to, you know, my best guess on this is that there will be a C200 Mark II because the camera is sold so well. People do like the full size all the dials, um, the full full size uh, XLRs, rather than the well, rumored C50 smaller sized um, mirrorless camera, that it will still be EF or PL, it'll have the adaptable mount, they'll use the same body, they won't go to the expense of it developing a whole new body, and they certainly won't use the C300 Mark III's body because that's an $11,000 camera. Uh, but they will probably put some kind of 422 10-bit in the camera, um, and it will probably be around five and a half, six thousand dollars, as the original C200 was before it got the price drop to five thousand dollars. So you'll have, in price wise, you'll have the C50, the C200, uh, the C70, the C300, and then um, the C90 and the C500. Though maybe the C90, because of the small size body, depending on the sensor, will be you know sub $10,000. It's, it's hard to say. Only Canon knows what percentage of their camera price is to do with the sensor um, cost. They're the ones that buy these things. They're the ones that calculate it. They may choose to make a loss on a camera in order to um, get market share. Sony does that all the time. But I think it's a pretty solid bet that there will be um, six main cameras, three, compact and three full size, not including the C700, and that they will go from a very low level, uh, you know, $4,000 mark for the C50, all the way up to the C500 Mark II at 16,000. Um, so who knows when these cameras um, will become available? I don't even think Canon does, uh, because they tend to release cameras based on other people's camera announcements, just like everyone in the industry does. And also in response to the sales of the C70, 
Um, if the C70 doesn't sell well, there's no point in them bringing in two more cameras of the same model. You know, the, the marketing expenses, just like a movie, the marketing expenses are almost as much as the manufacturing expenses with the amount of ads they have to buy, you know, all the different ways they have to get it out to their distributors. So um, it really, it really is going to be a, um, a wait and see, but I'm, you know, 90% positive that will be a, um, a C50. Uh, that will be less than the C200. 75% positive there will be a C90 uh, that will be more expensive, uh, less expensive than the C500 Mark II and probably have the full frame. A good question is why would you want a full frame um, like C70 body since the speed booster that Canon sell, the $500 speed booster that takes you from EF to R also gives you full frame and gives you an extra stop of speed. Well, you may want to use um, the existing R mount lenses, right? You know, they, these are fast. Um, Canon has basically only releasing R mount lenses now. They're, they're done with EF. Um, so if you want an, a, a full frame R mount, uh, there is no R to R adapter for, to full frame, no, no R to R speed booster. So you will have to go up to um, something like uh, the C90. That's the, um, if you want a full frame, and a lot of photographers do, they're a lot used to it, they're used to using their same lenses. So it may be more of a specialty camera, um, but uh, it's definitely out there. There is a lot of rumors about the 8K and 12K versions of the C300, um, whether that's a C300 Mark IV. In my opinion, it's probably more likely a specialty C300 um, that's specific to broadcast um, standards because the, the 2020, Olympics in, were meant to happen this year in Tokyo because of COVID, they've been postponed until next year. Uh, they were scheduled to be broadcast in 8K. So you do need an 8K native camera to you know, shoot those with a C300 and then uh, you know, broadcast them live from that camera. Canon already has a bunch of cameras that uh, are specialty cameras for specific uses, almost industrial uses. Um, the ME 20 sh I think it's called, is a full frame, uh, boxy camera. It actually looks like the Red Komodo, but it's, you know, five years old now. Uh, it goes up to 4 million ISO. Um, it can see in almost pitch black, uh, much, much more sensitive than the human eye, but you haven't heard of it because it costs $30,000. It's, it's for a specific use. I'm not sure what that is. I actually got to play with it, um, way back when, when someone was reviewing it. Um, and it's really weird to be shooting a conversation in pitch black where the actors can't even see themselves, but the camera can do fine. Uh, so Canon does have some specialty cameras out there that are expensive. Maybe there will be a specific um, C300 Mark III with DGO, Super 35 sensor, 8K, that's $50,000 and is specific to the Olympics. So who knows? I don't think the fact that people are out there shooting with a Canon uh, camera means that we're gonna get one, but you know, uh, ha happy to eat my words. If you have a C200 or C500 Mark II, I have a masterclass about how to learn that camera, how to get up to speed with it, how to shoot great footage with it. Um, it covers everything, focus, exposure, um, com uh, customization, uh, accessories. Um, that will be in the link below. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, you can see the links below to the cameras I talk about uh, and to the Canon Rumors article where I got a lot of this information. Um, they, do, they do great work. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.